The problem with the spoiled lantern fly is relatively new uh, pest for us in our area. What we are doing right now is we try to understand the biology of this insect so that we can find the best uh, timing for the application of this insect. So our research is focusing on uh, to be able to figure out if that we can train at the dogs to detect this egg of this insect. Well, this insect doesn't care too much about surface they want to lay eggs on. So they can put on the stones, they can put on the metal, they can put on the woods, it doesn't matter. Uh, and it's very difficult to see it too. So uh, by having that the aid from the dogs will probably be a really beneficial uh, will help growers to prepare for the season or maybe next year when the, they will probably come in the big masses. Where? <laughs> Oh, you're right! With the number of acres that, for example, a vineyard might cover, it would take a human hours and hours and hours. And oftentimes the accuracy of the human is pretty limited. Dog's detection abilities uh, equates to basically a, a teaspoon of sugar in an Olympic-sized swimming pool. So if we can make sure that they are only detecting the egg masses, we can set them forth in a couple acre field. Um, or vineyard and they be able to tell us at least where significant quantities of those egg masses are. And at that point, once the farmers or um, vineyard owners know that, then they can take action against it. We are hoping that that same idea can be translated into the other diseases and pests in the vineyard. So our next phase is actually train the dog with the other disease called the powdery mildew of the grapes. And then so far what we found based on the really preliminary data is that it can be trained. And they can be trained to detect the powdery mildew spores or uh, maybe the reaction by the grapes, which we don't know yet. Where? Yes, good boy. A lot of those handlers are looking for a more fulfilling task to do with their dog. Their dog is already very, very highly accurately detecting uh, novel odors in environments, in the sport testing environment. So why not see if they can learn this particular odor and then they would have an additional fulfilling kind of activity to do with their dog that's also doing some good for the community as well. So that's the, the big goal to, to figure out a way to develop that and kind of create this deployable, uh, really robust network of citizen scientists, handlers and canine scientists to be able to go out and detect whatever the latest invasive species is.